A graph is a collection of nodes which are interconnected through edges. The nodes may represent real world entities like person, organization, event, place, etc. When multiple entities are involved, we can use lines to represent the relationships between them. These lines are formally referred as edges. This form of storing information has various advantages. It provides a way to capture complex relationships between multiple entities. Cluster or group of related entities, also referred as communities, makes it possible to access information on a specific topic of interest. This type of representation makes it easier to understand the flow of facts between entities. Even the relationships which are not directly implied in the document can be discovered. New entities and relationships can be added to the network without having to reprogram the whole knowledge graph. Through this paper titled From Local to Global, a graph rag approach to query focused summarization, Microsoft has introduced a new approach to improve rag using the power of knowledge graph. Before we dive into the steps for creating a knowledge graph using graph rag, there are a couple of keywords we need to know. When we get a long document and we summarize it in our own words by emphasizing specific points or facts, it is called abstractive summarization. On the other hand, when we summarize it by picking the important points or facts word to word from the long document and ignore the rest, it is called extractive summarization. GraphRag uses abstractive summarization in its implementation. A given summary of a long document may not be adequate or sufficient for answering a query meant for the long document. It may miss key facts from the document in the process of compressing it in the form of a summary. A query focused summary is more tuned towards retaining important information from the long document so that the query can be answered from the summary itself. Now we are ready to learn how knowledge graph is created using graph rag. First, a document is split into text chunks using an appropriate chunk size. Next, named entities are extracted from each of the text chunks. Relationships between related entities are also identified in this step. From the knowledge graph perspective, nodes and edges are identified in this step. If we take large chunk size, it may take multiple cleanings or iterations to extract all the named entities. While for smaller chunk size, it would normally take less iterations to extract all the named entities. This is due to a well-known issue of current large language models and it is referred as lost in the middle. For longer context, the LLM puts less focus on the text which are in the middle of the context. In the previous step, entities and relationships were identified from each of the text chunks. But when we think about the document as a whole, some entities may occur multiple times in the document. So such entities and the relationships may be identified multiple times with new information. In this step, such element instances are summarized or condensed into a single node corresponding to that entity to avoid duplications while creating the knowledge graph. In this step, related entities are grouped together to form communities. A community contains nodes which have stronger connections to each other than to other nodes outside the community. In a knowledge graph, a community can be thought of as a group of nodes conveying a specific idea or story from the bigger document. A document may contain several such ideas or stories. GraphRack uses Leiden algorithm for detecting communities. A description or summary of each of the community is derived through the LLM. This is useful for answering queries which requires a broader view of the document. If we go through the community summaries, 
we would know about the main themes which are presented in the document from a very high level. We can compare them with table of contents of a book. Now, our knowledge graph created through GraphRag is ready to answer questions. GraphRag provides two ways to query the network. They are local search and global search. Local search is used when we want to query the graph network regarding a specific fact which lies in a specific text chunk or a couple of text chunks. Given a query, it first identifies a set of entities from the knowledge graph which are semantically similar to the query. Next, entities, relationships, covariates, community reports as well as the raw text units which are associated with those entities are extracted from the knowledge graph. These will be passed as the context for that query. For example, when did Alice first meet the white rabbit? Such a query does not require a broader view of the document as the answer lies in a very specific text chunk. Global search is used when the query demands a broader view of the document instead of a limited view of just a couple of text chunks. A summarized list of ideas of the document is presented to the LLM as context along with the query. All the ideas otherwise would not fit within the limited context length of the LLM if the raw text chunks are used instead. For example, if our query is what are the main ideas depicted in the document, a particular node or a group of nodes may not be sufficient to answer this question. Global search uses community summaries to answer such questions. At first, all the community reports are segmented into text chunks of predefined chunk size. Next, each of the text chunks are fed to the LLM to create intermediate partial answer consisting list of points as well as ratings. The rating is a measure of the points importance to our query. Less important points having low rating are filtered out. The rest are used as context for generating the final response. For this demo, I will be using GraphRag version 0.3.6 as this is the latest version of the library as I am recording this video. Along with this, I will also install some additional libraries so that we can create the knowledge graph using various combinations of language models as well as embedding models. Out of the box, GraphRag does not support embedding models other than OpenAI's embedding models. So, we will be modifying two files which will allow us to use embedding models from Hugging Face or Olama. In this section, we will see how we can create the knowledge graph using various combinations of large language models as well as embedding models. At first, we will be using OpenAI's embedding models as well as large language models. So we will start with creating the empty directory for the project. After this, we will initialize the project. Once it is done, I will paste the settings file and the env file in that directory. Next, in the settings file, I will make some modifications so that we are using the OpenAI's embedding models as well as the large language model.
next i will copy the document in the input folder now we are all set to creating the knowledge graph I'll be using this command and based on the length of the document it may take some time to complete. So last time we created the knowledge graph using OpenAI's embedding models and large language models. But this time we'll see how we can create the knowledge graph using Meta's Llama 3.2 and Nomic Embed Text from Hugging Face. We'll follow the same process just like before, but this time in the settings file we'll specify that we are using nomic embed text from hugging face as the embedding model and llama 3.2 as our large language model so i will fast forward the process till it completes I will create the knowledge graph one more time but this time I will be using Llama 3.2 as our language model and Nomic Embed Text but from Olama. So just like the previous time I will follow the same process but this time I will modify the settings file. In the previous sections, we have seen how to create the knowledge graphs using various combinations of large language models as well as embedding models. In this section, we will see how to query those knowledge graphs using the command line interface. At first, we will be querying the knowledge graph using local search. We have passed the query what was Alice doing before she first met the white rabbit for the first time. Now let's see how to perform the global search.
we will be passing the query what are the general themes depicted in the document. In this section, we will see how to query the knowledge graph, but this time we will be using the Jupyter Notebook for the queries. So using pandas, at first we will be reading all the packet files. For the local search, we'll be using this query. What was the white rabbit doing when it came across Alice? Next, we'll be performing the global search. So that's it for this video, see you in the next video.